Hey guys, 22 Plinkster here. One of my favorite revolvers in the whole entire world is the Smith & Wesson 617. Let me shoot it a few times and I'll tell you a few things about it. Oh, I hit it. Y'all did see me shoot through that one inch hole, double action and hit that target. I tell you what, I have had, I'm gonna take these glasses off cause they're fogging up. I have had this revolver now for, I don't know, probably a good four or five months. Smith and West was nice enough to send it to me. The first 617 I ever shot was back last summer. Uh, it was around July of 2014. And after shooting this revolver, I asked them if they could send me one, and they did, and I'm glad they did. If you're familiar with 617, you're familiar with the, uh, the quality that goes into every single one of their firearms, especially the revolvers. Now, this revolver has the six inch barrel, it has a 10 shot cylinder, and it has a very, very nice trigger. Now this particular revolver can be used in competition or just out plinking, like I'm gonna be doing. Um, it, it is just a tremendous, tremendous shooter. Now, this revolver is a little hefty, okay? Um, comes in over just a little over 44 ounces. So if you're a young shooter or you're kind of frail, it wouldn't be a good choice because it is hard to hold up once you get to about the seventh or eighth shot into it. Now, I let my wife shoot it once before. She got about five, six, seven shots into it. She goes, this thing is heavy. I said, yeah, it's built like a tank. So it's got, uh, I assume these are like hold grips. Uh, if not, they feel a lot like hold grips, rubber grips. Target sights, uh, fully adjustable uh, for windage and elevation. But, and of course you see behind me, my new range. I haven't got it all set up, but I've been dying to get out here and make some videos for you guys. So one of the cool things about revolvers, 22 long rifle revolvers, uh, is just their versatility. Now over here on the table, I've got some different kind of 22 long rifle ammunition. In this day and age that we live in, beggars can't be choosers when it comes to 22 long rifle. Uh, some shops, uh, you know, gun shops, have some upper end 22 ammo. Some of them have some not so upper end 22 ammo. And they may not cycle out of your semi-automatics, but if you have a revolver like this, it will shoot anything. So let's see what we have. Right out of the, right out of the gate with some uh, Federal bulk pack and let me get right here. I've got some CCI standard velocity. Let's just shoot some standard velocity a few times. Now the other ones were 36 grain Federals. And the standard velocities, I think they fire around 1050, 1080. Um, I'm really not for sure exactly. I think, they're, I think they may be 1080. Uh, but a 40 grain lead bullet. Now in some semi-automatics, uh, this particular am ammunition won't function. Most of them it will, probably 95% of it, but some semi-automatics it will not function. And like I said, this does have a 10 shot cylinder and they do make a speed loader for it, but I do not own a speed loader. So, but who wants a speed loader? Because one of the cool things about a revolver is loading them by hand. So here we go. No problem there. All right, let's see what else we have. Let's put this right there. All right, some CB, 20 CCI uh, CBs. Now, I bought these years and years ago. The price tag says on $5.95 for a sleeve of 100 of CCI shorts. Now, these are shorts and they're CB, so they're very low powered. But, I guess about I guess about two years ago or a year and a half ago I got on a revolver kick and of course I'm, I'm mo mostly known for shooting some automatics but man when I got on that revolver kick I, I couldn't get off of it every single day I was grabbing a 38 or a 44 or a 45 and I was just hooked on it and I almost just put all my sim automatics down and just start shooting revolvers because they are loads of fun so here we go these are going to be much much quieter all right here we go <laughs> oh, it does turn the the uh, 
<laughs> they barely move that paddle around. All right, see what else we have. Well, these are pretty cool. I've had these for years. These are uh, some Super Cobras. Now, if you're familiar with these, these will not cycle in a semi-automatic at all. Uh, and due to that fact, the reason why they won't cycle is because they don't have any powder in them. Uh, they are, let me see, it's a 20 grain bullet and they are using strictly the powder, uh, excuse me, the primer to propel the bullet out of the cylinder into the barrel and down range. Now these are, these are good for varmint control around the house at close ranges. And I, I don't know exactly how accurate they are. I've never really put them on paper or anything like that. But all right, let's shoot them a few times. All right, these are gonna be real quiet. <laughs> well, they're not that, that bad in accuracy. <laughs> Pretty much nothing to them. All right. Let's see what else we have. Oh, CCI shot shells. Now, I'm only going to load two of these in here because I don't, that's the only pack of CCI shot shells I have. I, I use those actually out of this particular revolver and I shoot wood bees with them so I like to keep these around so I just want to show you that you can shoot them out of it now I'm not gonna be able to hit nothing with them but there you go pretty much a shotgun for your revolver all right let's try out some stangers now in, a, in some semi-automatics uh, it is not good to shoot CCI stingers out of the reason being is the stinger casing is a little bit longer than a 22 long rifle and the bullet is a little bit shorter okay and that extra length of case that casing can can mess up some 22 semi-automatic uh, pistols or revolvers or, or rifles whatever you want to use but out of a revolver it's not going to hurt a one bit to shoot them so these are scooting along at, what are they, 1,600 and, uh, 1,640 feet per second. So these have got some pop to them. It'll be much louder than those other ones. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. No problem. Yeah, I did have, it struck the primer. I did have one misfire, but it did strike the primer. Now, let me give you a little bit more history while I'm loading up some Piney Mountain Tracers. Now, back in the 30s, the Smith & Wesson came out with the K-22. Now, the K-22 was an awesome, awesome revolver. It was blued, and it was six shot. Now, I shot a K-22 last summer, and uh, they are great shooters. Now, they, after the K-22 came the Model 17. The Model 17 was also a six-shot. I, I don't know this for a fact, but they may have came out with a 10-shot cylinder for the, the, uh, the Model 17 also. But late 80s, early 90s, Smith & Wesson discontinued the Model 17. And this is what we have, because the Model 17... Uh, was a blued, um, blued revolver, and they wanted to start going towards stainless because uh, this is a, a fully stainless steel revolver. Now, when they introduced this particular rifle, excuse me, this particular revolver, you know, it's taken off. Now, the bad thing about Smith & Wesson, if it is a bad thing, is the price range. Now, these typically retail for about $830, but these things are a bit like a tank. They're going to last you a lifetime. They're going to last you, uh, your, your kids, probably their lifetime. Hundreds of thousands of rounds can be shot out of this revolver, and you'll probably never, ever have a problem with it. So, all right, let me wipe my glasses off real quick because it is humid here in Tennessee. Now I'm going to shoot these tracers. Now, on the other end of the bank, I have some 6-inch targets and one 3-inch target. I don't know if I'll be able to hit them or not, but you know what? We're going to try 
I'm going to have to probably shoot them single action. Oh, yeah. Right to the right of them. That one looked like it went through it. Right underneath. There we go. Right to the right. Right underneath it. There we go. I think I have one or two shots left. I'm going to try to hit that three inch target. I don't know if I can do it at 65 yards or not. See if I can bear down on it. Nope, I wouldn't be able to hit it. I didn't miss it by much. But, you know, whether you're talking about the K22 or if you're talking about the Model 17, these just, just don't want to go on my head, or the 617, it's a great choice. It is a great revolver. They shoot straight. They function pretty much flawlessly. You can use pretty much any kind of 22 long rifle or short ammunition in these. You know, they're just a great all-around revolver. A lot of you have asked questions about this particular revolver, and like I said, I have probably shot this thing uh, in about the four or five months that I've had it. I would say probably 2,500 to 3,000 times, and I wanted to put the ammo through it before I tell you guys my opinion. But the 617, it's a great choice. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, y'all be safe and keep plinking.